Good day. Listening to the socialists here in Sweden. Today, it's the best. I tell you. You know, they are losing the election. And they know it. Deep in their hearts, they know it. They pretend as if they still have a chance, of course. But they know they are losing. And they get questions about this. Why are you losing? You see, from reporters. Why are you losing so many voters to the nationalists, etc. And they have this wonderful explanation. They say it's because the people don't want to talk about the things that they want to talk about. That's the reason. They, the socialists, they want to talk about the welfare system. That's their strong point, you see. It's really not. But that's what they want to talk about. Raising taxes, yeah. But the citizens, they want to talk about the problems of mass immigration and crime and integration. And now the socialists are constantly forced to talk about this because we have so many problems in this area. So uh, this is not doing them any good. So it's basically our fault. <laughs> That's what they say. Well, I have an idea. Maybe you shouldn't have told us. Maybe you socialists should have let people talk about this just two years ago, yeah? Without calling them racist. That's an idea. Yes. And I know why you are losing. You are morons. Yes. Look it up in the dictionary. So, and then the media. That's the second best here in Sweden. You know, the globalist Marxist media. Uh, I have an embarrassing story to tell you. This is from a press conference. It was just before the soccer World Cup started. And the Swedish captain was at the press conference. And there was this journalist from the Public Service News who wanted to ask this question. Because he noticed something. When he looked at the Swedish team, he noticed that they were all Swedes, you see. And he's, he asked this question, why was there no diversity in the Swedish team? I'm telling you the truth. That's what this guy, this wanker, asked. And I didn't hear the, the answer from the captain. I can imagine what it's like to get a question like this. You know, he's the captain. So he's, he picks the best players and they happen to be Swedes. Amazing. They are not doing well, mainstream media in Sweden. And uh, I have an answer for them. You know, maybe they should get rid of these pictures of Marx from their offices or Lenin or whatever and get rid of the journalists who have these pictures on their walls. And maybe you should stop lying. That's an idea. They are not doing well. I have some numbers. Uh, we have this big paper, it's called Dagens Nyheter, Today's News. It's the biggest paper in Sweden, I think. It's the worst. Yeah. They are dropping badly. In 2013 they had 780,000 readers every day. Now they are down to uh, 600,000. And it's a steady drop. Another paper, Aftonbladet, the evening paper. Uh, three years ago they sold 125,000 copies every day. Now they sell uh, 600, no, sorry, uh, barely 70,000. So it's a drop from 125 to 70. Hmm. Also their web page is not doing well. So, this is upsetting, of course. They are having some problems. And I think this is, uh, we can see this problem in many places. I'm sure it's the same in uh, Finland or Germany or the UK. Well, I know UK, this fine paper, The Guardian, they are constantly 
begging its readers for money. Yeah. Very upsetting, isn't it? And the US, in average, they have a drop of 3.6%. I think this is last year. And the year before it was 2.6%. So it's getting steeper, this drop. New York Times, Chicago Tribune, etc. They're not doing well. Boston Globe, they dropped 8.3% and so on. And CNN, their ratings is dropping. Yeah, very upsetting. Uh, I thought the CNN and the Fox and Fox News, they were about equal. But I was wrong. I looked it up. CNN, they have 979,000 total viewers. And Fox News have 2.766 million viewers. Oh. All right. Maybe this has, uh, this is important, possibly. Yeah. Alt alternative media is taking over. All right. You good? Bye.